All right, here we are again at Edgewater Air Park and with the SIG Cadet Senior. Today, we're gonna to be doing banner toes. Banner towing is one of those uh, almost not not quite as debated topics in the RC hobby area um, but a lot of people have a lot of different opinions um, I am only going to present what works for me I've tried a lot of things and some of them work some of them don't now uh, I'm only going to present to you with what works for me I'm going to do a flying demonstration and that way you can take it back and see if it's something you want to do as well with your high wing trainer that does all the silly things. <laughs> it's really quite fun to explore the different sides of the hobby using the same airplane and you can do it over and over again. And because these high wing trainers are so stable and they have such a high amount of surface area, it makes them perfect for banner towing. The reason being is that you can fly the airplane slow and it'll still be stable. Looking at the cadet, you've got a really nice, clean and easy airframe, but you've also got a huge amount of tail surface area to keep the airplane stable, but also all of the wing area. It just helps you stay aloft really, really well and you can lift things and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna fly using a banner just to make people smile. All right, so we have the cadet opened up here, wing bolts, lift the wing off, long leads in order to make sure the wing can set to the side pretty easy. So what we're looking at specifically for the toe release mechanism is this 3D printed part right here. Now this printed part is also in the nose for a glider toe. It's a really simple piece to print and it uses just one nine gram servo. All right, so the way it works is over here, you see this end and a loop is installed from the bottom up. But before you do that, you have to move that out of the way. So that's the release mechanism. That's all it is, just that movement. And so you can do this powered or unpowered. So it's powered right now, so just uh, battery off. The telemetry is lost. So all you have to do is just move the servo back, install the loop, and then move it back forward and it'll be reset, all right? Okay, so for the banner toe release, uh, once you get everything hooked up, the whole reason that I have the wing come off is safety, <laughs> okay? So obviously towing something through the air, it can get snagged, uh, something can go wrong, uh, and you wanna be able to release that as quickly and as safely as possible. Now, obviously we're dealing with some mass. It's not much, but it is some mass. Um, so being able to drop it at a precise location is also preferred. So with that, you have the option to release in an emergency or specifically when you want to. With a banner tow, you want to release the banner before you land. Reason being that you could have the banner snag on something for some reason, something go wrong and it pulls the airplane into someone or something, okay? It's a safety thing. You're going to release the banner before you land. Taking off is a whole different story. All you do to take off is just lay the banner out straight, make sure that it's slightly taut, and then you take off like normal. All right, so there's no catch in the air and take off with it. We're not doing it full scale, uh, but it is still fun. All right, so let's get into the banner design itself. Uh, the banner, I'm using something called OtterTex, or something similar to OtterTex. Uh, it's off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I know that probably won't stand the test of time, but for the time being, that's the best we have. Uh, it's basically ripstop nylon. And the reason we wanted to try to use that is so that the fabric wouldn't fray. 
Now I did end up sewing all of this. Uh, we've got seams here and here. I tried a number of different designs of things that people were saying to try, but I'm going to give you what has successfully worked for me. Uh, this uh, rod in the leading edge, which I've sewn a pocket for, is just a piece of carbon fiber arrow shaft. That's all from Walmart. I think it was all of $3. Uh, in that carbon fiber arrow shaft, I drilled some holes and reinforced those holes with some thin CA. Carbon fiber will just wick that stuff right up. Uh, so the holes I used to secure the banner to the post, as well as the tow line to each end of the post. So the reason that I have this little fastener here that I made out of a, uh, a safety pin is so that I can actually release the banner and change out banners, which is kind of fun. You may not want to do the same thing all the time. Someone may ask you to tow something for an event. So that's fun. Now you also notice this ball down here. The ball is a number of things. Number one, it's a weight. Uh, the reason you want a little bit of weight is to make sure that the banner flies upright. So having a little bit of weight down low helps with that. Um, otherwise it's gonna spin and do all sorts of things. So you have a little bit of weight. This does not have any added weight. It's just a 3D print. There's two halves. Uh, I made the bottom half hollow in case I wanted to add weight, but I added weight, I drilled a hole, and I took all the weight out because it just doesn't need it. Just a little bit of weight it goes a long way. The other service that this uh, provides is when you drop the banner, you're going to have it hit the ground, and this helps it uh, prevent from digging. It's also a visual indicator for safety. And moving on from here, move forward. I'm using some metal uh, beading line that I had uh, for my fastening just because I didn't know uh, how well it would work, how strong I needed it to be, uh, but you can use regular nylon line. It'll work pretty well. You're not towing a tremendous amount of weight. Um, but what I did note here is that a number of people said, well, you want to have a metal washer so that it can slide. Well, what ended up happening was because of the weight, the weight would weigh down and eventually I was basically towing this kind of setup. Uh, so having it tied here is absolutely essential uh, so that this doesn't slip. So that being said, you could technically eliminate this washer altogether. But I left it in here because it tells a good story. So from there, it just goes to a nylon cord and I highly recommend this neon nylon cord for visibility sake. Again, a safety thing. You're towing things through the air, you need to be able to see it safely. And that's pretty much it, guys. There's no other tips or tricks that I can give you other than you definitely, with this fabric, you need to sew all the way around the perimeters. It's supposed to be sort of rip stop or prevent rips. It doesn't prevent frays. I did use eyelets here to help the fabric stay down. Uh, that, that's a custom thing as well. You can pick those uh, rivet tools up at Amazon, but other than that, it's really pretty straightforward. Uh, if you've got a sewing machine, you can do this. Um, I ordered just a few yards of this stuff off of Amazon and I can do three different banner with it. So with that, I'm gonna get it installed and show you what that looks like. My line is installed in the airplane for the banner toe. Now I incorporated a tube and again, another carbon fiber aero shaft from Walmart uh, that goes all the way to the back of the airplane. And the reason I do that is that because I'm releasing on the inside, I don't want this loop to hook on anything like a servo or a receiver or anything like that and just <clears throat> rip off the whole tail of the airplane. So it's gonna come out, it's unobstructed, and it's gonna go down the tube and it's gonna go out. That way it's safe and then by pulling the wing off i ensure that this connection is safe every time again safety <laughs> things can go really really wrong on this all right i'll show you the back real quick but before i do i want to point out that yes i do have 
a rod that I have in the airplane for pulling stuff through that tube. It's just a little hook on the end and I've got a bent piece on the other end for, for pulling it through. So I fish it in all the way down. I hook up whatever I'm gonna hook up and then pull it back through. All right, bit of a hard shot, but there you go. That's the exit hole from the rod where things get released out of. So it's not going to obstruct the uh, push, push rod and servo horn for the elevator. All right. Banner toe, away we go. So see how the uh, banner is sagging a little bit low to the airplane? That's again the weight. Okay. And just that little bit of weight on that 3D printed ball, that's all it takes to keep the banner upright. Not much weight at all. Now I did try putting a dowel in the trailing part of the banner and that didn't work out too well. Um, that ended up creating a big flappy monster that had a whole lot of extra drag and noise and yeah, I took that out and fixed it right up. So I definitely don't recommend doing that. It was a good idea at the time, but yeah, I, I felt like just making it longer where the, the flappy bits would not have anything on it that would be readable, that seemed like a better solution. Nice, smooth flying. That's all you need for banner toe. Very relaxing. You can feel the drag, but it's not like it's a whole big thing. It's not a whole lot of burden on the airplane. All right, so now we have to start thinking ahead all right, we want to drop the banner in a safe spot that's clear on the runway, but not in a spot where we want to land. So I am on this next pass going to drop the banner because this airplane does not like to land on this uh, textile runway because it rolls too long. And so we're going to drop the banner right at the foot of it and then circle back for a landing. All right. So three, two, one, drop. Come on, drop. That's not good. Dropping, dropping. That is not good, all right. So this is one of those situations where despite our best safety efforts, our release is failing. We don't know why, but we're gonna land. We're gonna land far out in this grass. We've got plenty of drag, we just have to gently set the airplane down. Okay, so come around, it's cold coming around. And of course it comes off now. Yeah, 
It snagged on something. I think it broke. So let's uh, go for a little walk. Throttle Airplane hold. has throttle hold on. Now this line is 15 feet long or so. Our line is fine. I think what happened is we got a little snag on the inside from this stuff. Uh, I haven't had this issue before, so maybe what I need to do is add some uh, shrink tubing to this. Add some shrink tubing just so that it doesn't get caught again. The other option is to just go ahead and remove this metal altogether and use the nylon. Nylon might be a little bit slipperier, um, but this uh, twisted wire, this is like nylon beading wire, is really nice because it makes it a lot easier to load uh, into our release mechanism. So just something to consider. So let's go get the airplane, let's get off the runway and make things safe and we'll close things out. So this time we're gonna try to see if the addition of a piece of shrink tube works on our release so when the banner toe drops it's pretty abrupt so it's almost like spot practice right and there it goes there it goes that's what it's supposed to do Bit of a tall grass out here on EcoFlow, but it still works really well. Throttle. Awesome. Well, thanks again for tuning in, guys. I really hope you appreciate the complexity of banner tow. It's really not that difficult, but there's a lot of different aspects to juggle. Make sure you take your time, be safe, and you'll have a really good time with this. Until next time, make sure that you enjoy banner towing with your flying work of art.